pressures of the day. Three chips, Hardy is the end of the impact zone. And to me, this is one of those cases where Hardy needs to be totally focused. Lethal's got the win streak. He moves him all the way up to number five for the newly released rankings. Number two ranked Hardy. You can almost feel Jay Lethal just breathing down his neck. Well, Jay Lethal has got my beautiful momentum in TNA right now. He is riding a strong wave. Dixie Carter, managing partner Hulk Hogan, Eric Bischoff, they put the rankings together and they look at the current one-loss record, career one-loss record as well as accomplishments, as well as the TNA fan voting at TNAWrestling.com. I just want to note, as I noted, for those that didn't see Victory Road this past Sunday, uh, Jay Lethal wearing the red and yellow in honor of Hulk Hogan, who put it in the match this past Sunday against Ric Flair. Which was a big, huge moment for Lethal, obviously. And then he got the, the dude for Lotus. Now, what cover here for Hardy in the opening minute, but he gets just two. And I thought that post-match comments from Jay Lethal, very interesting, Taz. We had the chance to talk to him after the, yeah. the flare victory. He was on cloud nine, talking about those three days of his life that he'll always remember as he connects with the drop kick. He said, it's the day I was born, the day I started yeah. professional wrestling. And the day that I defeated Ric Flair this past Sunday at Victory well, Road. That, that's the only thing that, you know, you gotta be careful if you leave for. You might be, you know, wait, 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 Suicide dive. Boy, you get that head of steam rolling behind that dive. Uh, you know, I was, I was in Cairo Road today. I got a couple points in there. Overheard Jim Lee for talking to some of our production staff. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Hold that thought. Here they come. That's the former ECW4, Tommy Dreamer. See Rhino. See Stevie Richards, you see Raven. Week after week, we see them make their way into the impact zone. Yep, still have no clue why they're here, and I'm begging the next this time. Go along. Oh, oh. But you were talking about getting that, that cup of coffee yeah, well, and, and catering. Lethal, yeah, well, I was trying to say, I was just distracted. I was just trying to say that Lethal is still amped up and still just stoked and fired up that he got the victory on, 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 on Rick Flair. We went to the drop if, kick for a near fall. If Jay Lethal is just living on that huge victory, that could hurt him here with Jeff Hardy, as we see uh, Stephen Richards and uh, Raven. And I know what Dreamer. Yeah, I also know what you're talking about when it comes to Jay Lethal. We've seen it with wrestlers. We've seen it with teams in all of sports throughout the years. You're talking about a letdown factor coming just four days after the biggest win of his career. And, and so, you know, it's a very it's a concern. Oh, oh man, Jeff Hardy. Just taking high risk. Hardy grabbing at his left elbow, as you can see. Might have hurt you a bit. Yeah, bad landing from Hardy, but well, also Jim Lethal catching the shot. That's Raven. He's a, always been a lovely looking fellow. Lethal first to get back up to his feet. Hardy's there, and they exchange. So you're not going to ask me if, if, if you know what, I'm going to go right past it this week. Okay. I know how sensitive you've been about this situation.